Spirit in all things, we ask that you visit this place today and bless everyone under my um, under the sound of my voice. I also ask that you will supernaturally bless every youth in this place. Continue to give us dreams and visions so we can create a reality that will manifest in, in a better world. Bless every child, adult and senior, under the sound of my voice and turn around every negative situation in their life and make it a positive outcome. Your word declaims, no weapon formed against you shall ever prosper. So we thank you for making us more than conquerors and overcomers today and forevermore. It is in your matchless name we pray. Amen.
live on the red carpet with some fabulous models that just slayed the runway and they're from out of town. I'm going to let them tell us a little bit about themselves. Um, I'm Alex from We Inspire Talent Group and I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina. Wow. I'm Journey and I'm from Dallas, Carolina. Nice. I'm Annie East and I'm from Kernersville. I'm Jade, and I'm from Kernersville. Y'all came a long way. 
Are you having fun in New York City? Yes. Any more shows this weekend? No. No? Just this one show? Okay. So you're going to do some fun stuff? hope so. Okay. Have any of you ever been bullied before? Yes. Yes? Not a good thing, right? About my Any experiences of being bullied? Well, yes. Oh, well, I was in third grade and I got spit in the face and punched and kicked and nobody did anything about it. So, what happened? You brought mama in? Yes. Okay. And mama took care of it? Yes. Okay, okay. Well, it's not a good thing to be bullied and it's good that you speak up about it because it's something that could go on and a lot of times kids won't tell their parents. So it's good if you tell your parents or your parents can step in there because my daughter was also bullied when she was young and at first she wouldn't tell us and then when we found out and we went up to the school, the kid did get suspended. So it's good, you know, that way you know it won't happen to other kids. Anyone else would like to say? Have you ever been bullied before? When I was in daycare, somebody bit me, and I didn't like it. Did you bite back? I was small. Small. Okay. 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 Well, it was great to see you guys on the runway. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing you guys. Okay. Do you have Instagram and Facebook? I know you got. No. Nobody got Instagram. Yes. I know you do. What's your Instagram? Is it your name? You got Instagram? I do. It's Anais Heineke. It's spelled A-N-A-I-S dot H-E-I-N-E-C-K-E on Instagram. Okay, how about a phone number to the company that you guys represent? 336 549 5056. Okay, so we'll be looking out for you. And here's the mama, John. Tell us your name. Deanna Parker. It's my daughter, Alexandria, and we're all within We Inspire Talent Group. As a mama, you know, it's kind of good to let them know everything that we do for them. Sometimes they don't realize it, all the work that we do. and. Trust us, uh, your parents are trying to get you in an arena that your life will be better than what our life is. And kids of today, they're starting young. So we as the momagers, we gotta jump right in and do all the things that you guys wanna do, dance, model, you know. We gotta have the energy for that. So we here to support you guys, okay? Okay. Thanks for coming out. Um, I have to take a moment. I love showing people love and giving gratitude throughout the day. So, the first thing I want to do is uh, where is uh, Minister Jonathan Craig? Just want to raise your hand. Thank you very much for saying the opening prayer for blessing this space. Give a round of applause, everyone. <laughs> then, of course, we got little big sister who sang the back when I was in school, the Negro National Anthem, the Black National Anthem, the Thirty Points. Please give it up for them, please. All the way from Philadelphia, PA. And then I also want to give a little bit of love to some of our sponsors. So we have uh, Youth on the Rise uh, Daycare, and we'd like to give a shout out to Guns Down Life Up. I'm here to give a little bit of our sponsors here So now, we're going to bring to the stage a spoken word performance for you. I saw, I saw you coming in. I held the door for you with a man's skills. Peace and blessings, everyone. Woo! Now, we can do better than that after y'all saw those kids come out here and do what they had to do. And some of our, and some of our adults as well. My name is Karen Yelverton, the brand is Angelic Creations, and I am happy and humbled to be here with you all. And I'm just going to jump into it because we want to see some more of them walk down runway. But with this poem, I'm going to include you because I think everyone in this room has visions, dreams, and goals. Hello? Everyone in this room has visions, dreams, and goals, right? Yeah. Okay. So when I point to you, thank you. When I point to you, I'm just going to ask you to say visions, dreams, and goals throughout the poem. Is that okay? Because we're going to get started, all right? So one, two, three. 
see it. Come on, man. come on. One, two, three. You are in control. And it is time to manifest your
could go on his dad's page, Dr. Phil Craig, and see he actually gets in the pulpit and says a full sermon. So if you want to book him for your church, you have to go to the managing right over there. And we want to thank you for staying in the Word, Jonathan. So we have our next honoree, Susan Knox. She's going to tell you a little bit about herself because she threw it all too. And today we decided to honor all these young people under the age of 18 doing positive things. All our kids are not in the street hanging out. And I want to give a shout out to the moms and dads that are supporting their children. Because a lot of times we take our parents for granted and we just assume that God is going to keep them here forever. We have to realize that these children have powerful parents because they cannot do it on their own. And we want to thank God for these parents that are pushing their children to be pro progressive in life. So our next honoree is Susan Knott. We're going to give her this great Chubby Line Honorary Award. She does it all too. She's going to tell you everything she do. Come on, Susan. in Brooklyn. Um, I'm a model. I've done runway modeling since I was 10, which was three years ago. I also sing and dance. I was part of the New York Performing Arts Academy for one year on a scholarship. I do so much, and I act. I've done acting since I was maybe four. <laughs> I've always been in school musicals. I've done commercials outside of school. I've done so many things over these past years, and it's all thanks to my family, my friends, and the fashion family. I wanted to thank Uncle. Um, I wanted to thank Dr. Reba and Agent, who were able to give me with this and award me. So can I have a round of applause for them? <laughs> they have done so much for me. Um, they've inspired me and supported me throughout all these years. So I just want to say thank you.
He's going to tell you a little bit about his journey, how he has his own eyeglass store. Hello, my name is Jabez Robinson. I'm the CEO of JFlex Eyewear. And I want to tell you about how, how I got this business. I'm nine years old, and I was born a preemie. And when I was like two years old, I kept bumping into things. So my mom got a little ag agitated. And then she was like, instead of buying all these glasses, we can make our own glasses and um, make them affordable for children, teens, and young adults. And I, I just like everything about my business because it's mine. And it's unique because I have all the colors and it matches with your clothes, whatever you wear. Especially these, that's what I'm wearing right now. It can match what I'm wearing right now too. And any of the glasses, they can match the clothes I'm wearing or clothes you're wearing and any clothes. Thank you. I know y'all do better than that. Hi, my name is Stephanie Hammond. I'm Miss Exquisite, Full Figure, USA Tri-State 2019. And I'm here at the Chubby Line Anti-Bullying Event Fashion Show with Miss Nanette Rodija. Hi everyone, how are you? How are you? How are you enjoying yourself? Um, immensely. It's an uh, amazing um, show. They are here with a lot of young black entrepreneurs, children I believe that are like 10 to 13. The youngest one I think is 14 years old, but they have a number of mm -hmm. young, black, young black children entrepreneurs, and that's a good thing to see. And we have some awesome honorees, um, young honorees, they're ranging from 10 as well, up to about 17, and they're doing wonderful things in the community. And tell us what you're doing. Well, my name is Nanette Rodriguez Swain. Um, I'm a model myself. I do runway coaching, model coordinating, backstage production, front stage production. I, you name it, I do it all. Um, I'm also the creative director for Beyond Your Fame magazine. The CEO is L. Anderson. And today? Today I'm here, I'm wearing a, a multiple hats. I'm the event coordinator, I'm the backstage coordinator, I'm the model coordinator, I've been the host. I've done a number of things in this show and it's been amazing. And you look fabulous, so tell well, us thank what you designer so you wear. This designer, her name is Aita. She is an African designer. She is truly from Africa. I forget exactly where, I think she said Nigeria. And she can be found at the pop-up shop, Mart. It's on 125th Street, right next to Marshall's off of Lenox Avenue. Her name is Aita, A-I-T-I-A. So is there any upcoming events that we should look out for? For me, myself, a few, but I'm not going to put that out there just yet because stuff is still in the making. But yeah, there's some things coming up. Standing up. Because we know that you're not going to be able to Stop bullying completely, but we must educate our children. Producers like Dr. Reba, Sophia Davis, Lloyd, De Lloyd Crawford, a number of them. There are a number of things going on right now. As a matter of fact, as we speak this weekend, it's Atlantic City Fashion Week. Okay. So that's a big one as well. But this is the start of Fashion Week, and we're all here to celebrate. Okay. Well, we look forward to seeing some upcoming stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mentally bullied. She was physically, the boy grabbed her face and scarred it. This is serious parents 
please pay attention and stop saying what your children are not doing because you are not in this school system and you don't know what they're doing. Come on, Ms. Lee. I adopted her as my niece. And Egypt takes it very serious. We'll be at her school next week. We couldn't go to the press conference because we were busy preparing for this, but trust me, we're going to be at that school next week. We want these principals to be accountable for it because it's a serious thing. Now we want to let her tell a little bit about what she does. She's a artist also. She's probably not up to it today to perform it, but she's an anti-bullying activist also. Jada Leah Tillette. 
We're live at Egypt's red carpet event, and we're with... Antoinette. I am five years old. I like to sing. You were awesome on the runway. Do you like to model? Yes. Thank you. Hi, I'm Stephanie Hammond, Miss Exquisite Full Figure, USA Tri-State 2019, live on the red carpet with Miss Esther. Esther, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Esther Kingambo, Top Model Belgium 2016, so I'm doing modeling and also a businesswoman. Okay. Well, we look forward to seeing you in other projects. Of course, of course, in the other project. Thank you so much. <laughs> Anti, against anti-bullying. She's here showing that she rapped today and she was also given an award. She's one of the honorees. And we want to say thank you for coming out and congratulations and you had a happy birthday. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing now? Um, so basically, I'm, just, I'm basically doing a tabling today, selling hats, tote bags, um, um, lip balm, and um, what was the thing called again? <laughs> Buttons. And um, and um, basically, I'm trying to like stop bullying because because I got bullied when I was younger, and I actually got bullied this Monday. And yeah. Well, we're gonna be looking out for you. Um, can you tell us what your Instagram is? My Instagram and Facebook is Lil Lex with the S at the end. Yeah. Alright, so everyone, go to Lil Lex's page and shout her out. Thank you.
Jada Leah Talet. We're live at Egypt's Anti-Bullying Fashion Show, and I'm here with... Nelly. Okay, she was awesome on the runway. What do you like to do? Um, I like to do modeling. Do you, do you sing? Uh, yeah. Do you sing? Yeah. What do you like? like are you, do you do acapella or like any? No, I just like sing in the showers. What do you like about modeling? Like everybody's watching and then I can do poses. Thank you. <laughs> We have a few more things that we want to do for the show, but we figured we would put all the fashion out. We wanted to show the diversity of Egypt's brand. She's making bridal gowns now, and she custom made it specifically for this beautiful husband and wife. And we want people to understand that she's not just a kid designer. She is an international fashion designer that actually Egypt makes designs from double zero to size 26. No one in the fashion industry is doing this. And that's the diversity about her brand. She makes clothes for dolls, dogs, kids, women, and men. And anybody that knows about fashion, that is very hard to do. You have to have a lot of talent. And everybody knows Egypt is very shy, but shy people are very innovative. So Egypt, I want everybody here to give her a round of applause. Everyone around here, and 